Step 1. First, make sure your printer is running properly and is printing with all channels and nozzles. Step 2. Place the P800 on a work surface with access to the back of the printer. Make sure the printer is unplugged. Step 3. Unscrew the five black screws as indicated and pull the lower back cover off. Step 4. Unscrew the four silver screws as indicated. Step 5. Remove the tape from the ribbon cables on the left and place this tape to the side. Step 6. Gently pull out the back tray. It will not come out all the way due to some wires. Keep the right side in more than the left side. This will allow the left side to angle out as indicated. Step 7. On the left of the motherboard, pull out the ribbon cables marked CN5, CN4, CN63, CN78, CN77, and CN76. Step 8. Tape these cables back to make room to work. Step 9. Plug the cable labeled CN76 provided with your product into the motherboard port labeled CN76. It does not matter which end of the cable you choose. The silver contacts should be face up facing the front of the printer when the cable is secure. Step 10. These cables can be very tricky to place correctly. Do not touch the metal contacts with your fingers. Carefully guide the cable to the lip of the port in the printer and then gently push in. The cable can be bent slightly at a 90 degree angle to give your fingers leverage to push the metal contacts all the way in. There will be a dull thud and then the cable will level off when the cable is all the way in. Do not fray the end of the cable. Step 11. Plug in the cables labeled CN77 and CN78 in the same way as CN76. Step 12. Tuck the three unused printer ribbon cables back and out of the way. And reconnect the three printer ribbon cables CN63, CN4, and CN5 back into their ports. Step 13. Slide the drawer back into place until it is snug and replace the tape back into its original position. Step 14. Plug the other ends of the ribbon cables, CN78, CN77, and CN76 into the corresponding cable ports on the chip decoder, as labeled on the chip decoder board. The metal contacts on the ribbon cable should be face down. Step 15. Replace the four silver screws that were removed earlier.
Step 16. Snap the back cover back into place, leaving the chip decoder board and cables hanging out below. Step 17. Replace the black screws removed earlier. Step 18. Take the stick Velcro that is included with your kit, Velcro your chip decoder to the back of your printer. The power port should be on the top left. Plug in the chip decoder into a surge protector. If all was installed correctly, your printer should start as normal and show 100% full ink cartridges when you plug it in and turn it on. During the course of normal printing, your cartridges will begin to indicate lower levels. When one cartridge reads empty, open the cartridge bay, take out the cartridges, all of them, and top them all off. With the ink bay still open, hit the reset button on the chip decoder. This will reset all of the ink cartridges to full. Put your ink cartridges back into the printer. And close the ink bay cover. All cartridges will be reset to full and indicate full. You have 30 resets in the chip decoder.